In this video, I'm going to show you how you can animate these red circle shape callouts onto objects in your video in Adobe Premiere Pro. So this effect used to be in the effects panel under the generate folder as circle. And actually now if you look in the obsolete folder, you see circle is now obsolete. And the reason that is, is because now we have the shape tools in the essential graphics panel. So if you head over to your toolbar, you can choose rectangle or ellipse or pen shape tools. So if you want to do a circle call out, let's just choose our ellipse tool and working in our program window, I just have this clip on the timeline. I can click and drag out a shape. And if you hold shift, it'll be in perfect proportion. So it's a circle. If you don't hold shift, then you can do other things like ovals and whatnot. So I'm going to hold shift and make a circle. And you should see this will create a graphic layer on your timeline. So it just acts as its own graphic layer. It's not on the clip. And if you go to the essential graphics panel on the right hand side, or if you don't see this, you can go to window and open the essential graphics. Here's where you can choose what kind of color and outline to make it. So by default, your shape might be filled in like this. You just want to head over to the appearance section. You can uncheck the fill. So there's no fill and you can add a stroke. So you can add a stroke, whatever color you want, green, red, and right here you can adjust the stroke width so you can make it as thick or small as you need. You also have the option to add a shadow if you want. And the next thing we're going to have to do is, is animate it. So I'm going to extend this graphic as long as I need it. In this case, over this eight second clip, I'm going to go to the very first frame of the clip and I'm going to add a keyframe onto the position of this clip. Uh, you can do position and scale. In this case, I'll just do position because the scale is going to be relatively the same. And we'll create a keyframe on this first spot with uh, the 10 centered here in the middle. And then all you're going to want to do is move over a couple frames. In this case, there's not too much movement, but every couple frames, I just want to adjust the position so that it's keeping whatever we're calling out centered. And another way that you can do this instead of just adjusting the position X and Y parameters is if you make sure you're in the program window and you have your motion highlighted in the effects panel then you'll see these blue bounding boxes come up and now you can actually just move around with your mouse tool or your arrow keys up and down on your keyboard so that can be another way to just visually center things so i'll just move every couple frames make sure i have my call out centered where i want and you see every time i do make a change it adds a keyframe and all of these keyframes will animate through to each other. So one fast workflow is, you know, just move your mouse here on this timeline and then move your mouse here in the program window. You can quickly go forward frames and animate. This is typically a, a job that's easier done in After Effects because it does this automatically. But for short moments where you're just trying to call something out and you're working in Premiere Pro, this is a not too tedious and fast enough method that kind of just replicates what the automatic tracker would be doing. So once I'm done, I can either just follow this object off the screen. Another way that you could choose to animate it out is maybe just adding a simple fade out. So if I right click apply default transition, that'll just make it fade out for the last couple seconds. And I can also make that faster or slower. So if you do, don't have a good point to enter in off the screen, you can always just fade in and out and then watch it back once you have all your keyframes placed. It looks pretty spot on. And then you can make it fade out or animate out whenever you need. So this is a really fast way to add quick circle animated callouts that track some motion in Premiere by hand without needing to go into After Effects. If you do want to check out some more detailed work in After Effects on tracking. You can check out some of my tutorials on the track tools in After Effects on my channel. You can subscribe to stay tuned for all my new videos. My name is Justin Odisho. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.